Hi everyone, and welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. Today, as mentioned previously, we're going to be talking about perimeter. Now, you may have heard of the word before, and you may have a fair idea on what it means. Simply put, perimeter means the distance around the outside of something. I often like to think of it as a fence. The fence, or the length of the fence, represents how far around a block of land is. On the screen, you will see three different images, one in black, one in purple, and one in orange. We are simply going to determine the perimeter of each. And we might start with the orange one first of all, as it's arguably the simplest. It is just simply the shape of a triangle. So we could write P can represent the perimeter. The perimeter, let's give this five. The perimeter of this triangle is simply four, this could be centimeters, meters, it doesn't really matter in this scenario. Four somethings plus five plus two, because the way around it is four, let's say, metres, two metres this way, and five metres this way. Now we've covered the whole distance around the outside of this triangle, and that obviously is equal to 11. If we were to look at that black one, on first inspection, it doesn't seem to have enough information. It's... How many sides has this got? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six edges, but only three numbers. We can obviously tell that the bottom is five meters. The left-hand side, we can't actually tell, or can we? You will notice this little symbol here and this little symbol here actually mean that those sides are the same. I'm just going to write that same. That means the left hand side is actually five meters as well. Now I can start adding up the perimeter is equal to five from the bottom plus five from the left hand side You've got that length of one at the top. You've got that two on the right hand side, but we don't know how long that bit is or this bit. But what we can tell is if, if these are assumed right angles, as in 90 degrees, we can assume that this side here is going to be four. That's because this is one and this must be four. Because the bottom length is five, so the matching length across the top up here, that must be four. If we were to move this side up to the top, it would be four. So we can add four on. This bit here, if we shifted it along to here, would add here, and that must be 3. So the perimeter for this shape is 20. The same principle applies down below when we look at this purple shape. Now what we might do is this side here, Let's move it and we put it down here instead. Now let's use this guy here and we'll put him in there. Let's move this piece down to here. Now what you can see is that the whole distance along here matches the bit at the top. Now it doesn't even matter that we don't know 
how big this piece is or this piece or this piece. All that we do know is that all of them put together is equivalent to nine. The same principle applies on the right hand side. So this bit, this bit and this bit all fit in one piece here, one piece here and the last piece there. The whole length has to be eight. Therefore, we can work out that the perimeter of this is eight plus nine plus eight plus nine, which is equal to 34 meters. So enough information has been provided there. One final example that you will sometimes see is if you see a shape like this, tells you that this side is four, and then you see these little dashes. What they are indicating, as mentioned previously, that this and this are the same length. So therefore, this side on the right-hand side of this triangle must also be four. So the perimeter is four plus four plus three equals 11 again, similar to that last triangle. That is all that I think you need to know for today. Feel free to go through a few questions, try out a few little examples, and you'll start getting your head around it. The tricky bit is really figuring out the two shapes on the left. Just imagine you can move those fences. The length of the fence doesn't change, but you end up making a simpler shape. That's all from today's lesson. Hopefully you've learnt a little bit and good luck with your questions.